I've used the live offering, so let's hope there's not going to be any huge delays like last time. Right, I'm talking loads. I want to make sure we've got a tiny little bit of a buffer before that 8 o'clock. So I'm going to start the warm-up. Four-minute warm-up is always 18 strokes a minute, and the pace is going to be round about just like, like a bodyweight squat as so you're standing up so that we can work on this connection between our legs and our hands. Okay, so... Oh, the monitor's turned off because I haven't connected it. Oh, give me here. Uh, uh, let's forget about that. Come on. Just row. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Now, if you are watching, then make sure and leave me a comment and let me know if you can hear me or not. I am um, invested in a headset microphone for this row. So hopefully, after last week when people were having issues hearing me, you will this time. So like all the, the warm-ups that I do, I want to start off by just thinking about the connection between your feet and the handle picking up the flywheel. So you want that foot press to happen at the same time as your handle picks up. Our Sandy's here. Ah, good. So we're just gonna warm up in case anyone's joining and turning up. Let's see, giant cotton bud is working. Hey, most expensive cotton bud I ever bought. The only thing downside is I have to breathe to the side because I don't want you just to, this to turn into like a, a dirty phone call. Anyway, come on. I'm off the I'm off the rhythm of my warm-ups. Timing between hands and legs. Try and get it right. Then in 25 seconds time we'll go through the single leg section of the warm-up. Keep on seeing myself in the mirror. I'm still doing this butt scoop behind me. No, underneath me. Maybe one day I'll listen to myself. Okay, two more strokes. One more. One foot on the ground. Carry on rowing with that leg that's still relentlessly strapped in. Well, relentlessly for the next 20 seconds, at which point it gives up. Remember, there is a tendency that you, you're able to overcompress with only one leg in because you don't have two legs fighting against you. So try not to. Swap feet. Because you can, because you don't have two legs holding you back. You can go firing into the front of the machine and really kind of hyperextend your hips and lower back. You don't want to do that. Trust me. Good old solid pushes from the legs still. One more. Okay, both legs in, straight, and just roll with your back and arms. Remember, you're initially picking up the flywheel with your back, and then you're pulling with your arms. No matter how many times I say this part of it, it's still... The biggest thing to try and get across is that it's your back first, then your arms on this drill. Let's do one more. Roll to the front of the machine, straight arms, forward lean, and just press out with your legs. Not too hard in this drill, because you don't really want to push so hard that you end up in this kind of backwards lean again. You're wanting to hold the forward lean and straight arms as you press out with the legs. Right, let's just do two more of these. And one more. Right, I don't know how well I've got the timing. Right, can I get this done in 45 seconds? So we can start bang on eight o'clock. Let's see, so. It's disconnected annoyingly. Connect. I don't think I'm gonna. 
might not get a chance to all start at the same time if I'm not going to hit bang on 8 o'clock and with this delay looks as though I'm only about 10 seconds behind so hopefully it's not going to be too much of a worry <sighs> connect, come on connect now, I'm not entirely sure what Ergzorn is going to show me whether I'm going to get the view of lots of the different groups of people rowing or not or if it's just going to show me the same screen that I always get <laughs> Yeah, it seems to. If I press the live icon down at the bottom. Oh, there we go. So there's a live icon bottom right-hand corner of the screen. If you click on that, hopefully it will give you an option to see uh, the other people who may be rowing today's session. <sighs> yeah, we're definitely... Yeah, that's 20 seconds past where I wanted to be. Uh, oh, wow, there's loads of people. Lots and lots of folks are on here already. That's fantastic. All right. Well, I'm going to have a quick drink, then I'm going to start. It's very cool. Okay. Right, so I've just seen myself take a drink. That's uh, very confusing. Okay, so I'm going to start. You guys start. Let's roll along together. 20 strokes a minute, 2K plus 18 pace in 3, 2, 1, go. So remember, like I said, I don't know if you missed the post on Facebook or as I was introing this video, but the good thing about Ergzone Live is that we can all just start whenever we want. This is about a shared experience rather than it being a race. Hang on. Yes, watch, I'm rowing. Now, unfortunately, I can't quite reach forward to start giving smiley faces to people but I can see loads of folks that we're rowing with tonight. Thias, Anthony, Todd, Nickel, Stuart, Kalu, Yufa, Scarlett. And I have to figure that if I was to scroll up on the screen, I'd see a bunch more names. But I got it set so high I can't. Hang on. How do I change the size? Ah. Who's David Fleming's here? Ah. No, he's not. David Fleming's at work. Hope you're having a good day. Right. We're a minute and a half into this. Let's give it another few seconds just to make sure you're nice and warm. Then we can start thinking technique. Because like I said in the 55 minute row that I uploaded today, you got to keep thinking about technique. I know it's it's not that it's repetitive, but I know you'd much rather hear a joke, a funny story. But if you can think about technique every time you row, it just lets you kind of nip in the bud any bad habits that may form. I've certainly developed a bad habit of my butt scoot where I'm not quite connecting feet and hands at the same time. So my backside has a slight escape from underneath me, losing me a few watts of power. And really, when you're rowing, whether it's a long, slow row like today, or a short, fast sprint, what you want to be doing is rowing as efficiently as possible, both for your goals, 
so you can hold your pace for as long as you can but also so you get the workout you want you want to make sure that you get the best out of the machine that you're asking of it I keep on seeing these articles in men's health or online whatever saying take up rowing it's the all over body experience that you've maybe forgotten about and then the picture they show alongside it is someone kind of like this <laughs> who's nowhere near using the muscles that they need to so if you're, all I'm saying is if you want to incorporate rowing because of all of its benefits then rowing with a good technique is advised it'll help your fitness <sighs> and then the other big reason is really injury prevention you want to make sure you're not doing something that will either throw out your lower back or hurt your intercostals your stomach muscles and techniques really where it comes down to on that about your body position about when you're transitioning from part to part of the stroke so that in a very very long introduction is why I always talk technique in my rows because it's important and if you let the gremlins invade weird things can happen like my butt scoot so what do we talk about when we're talking about the stages of the stroke right at the front before you actually start the stroke is the catch position basically it's when in a boat the oar is in the right position it's in the water it's caught the water and you're ready to add in the power then it's the drive phase drive that's when you put the power into the start of the stroke hey lots of love hearts coming on our zone that's nice everyone's still here uh, and then after the drive is the finish and that's when the handle comes in to your chest when I was sternum height then the release that's when the handle goes away from you and your body rocks forwards and then the recovery the simple action of returning to the catch again and although I'm breaking it down into one, two, three, four, five different phases the idea really is to try and flow between these phases so even with my slightly leaky stroke you should see that there's never a point when I'm stopped maybe like a tenth of a second at the front of the stroke by error but I'm not coming into the front and holding 
and then driving, nor am I coming to the back of the stroke and holding and then recovering. Everything flows from phase to phase like a dance. It's like Tai Chi. Your body's momentum and natural springiness of your muscles and tendons are there to help you get from phase to phase of the stroke as efficiently as possible. Right, 30 seconds to go until the first 10 minutes is done for me. Some folks have been rowing for a while. They're already a good few minutes in. Quite like on our zone that it just shows everybody's relative position time-wise and the pace that everyone's rowing at. That's just not a race. There's no real leaderboard. Nobody's in front. Nobody's behind. It's just a whole bunch of people rowing along together. Takes the pressure of a race out. And also, if you think back to last week when we tried doing this on Erg Race, we had to hang around waiting for people to join, waiting for me to get my side of it sorted before you could do anything. Here, a bunch of people started before I did, that's fine. And then a bunch of people will come late to the party too. I'm gonna try and scroll up my screen, see if I can. Let's see. Nope. Oh, I did. There you go. Just me and David J sitting at the bottom that I couldn't see. Anyway, right. Erg zone's amazing, so you need to know. If you don't use it, it's free for most of its features. And cross-platform, supported by lovely people, and but used by lots of people. So check it out. Sorry, guys, that's my... That's my advert, it's not very good. Technique. Let's run through this. Body position at the catch is one of the most important parts because it sets up the power. And if you're thinking about being in the right position, it actually gets your entire stroke Right, so that right position is a tilt over the hips, forwards into the front of the machine to only about one o'clock and a clock face. If you lean more than that, you're risking power leaks and hyperextension of your back. And when you start the stroke, the power can go through the wrong parts of your back. So just a one o'clock lean, arms out in front of you, straight and loose, importantly. So loose shoulders, loose arms, like a zombie. Okay, you never see a tense zombie. 
they're always having a super fun time, nice and relaxed. So don't drop your wrists like a zombie. Zombies don't actually roll very well because as they put their arms out in front, they're like this and they keep on dropping the handle. But loose arms like a zombie. Fingers hooked over the handle, not a death grip. Okay, that's important. I even sometimes come in with just my index fingers on the handle to make sure all is loose and relaxed. Thumbs then go lightly underneath, maybe lightly touching index finger, but certainly not gripping the life out of it. Slide the seat forwards so your shins are at vertical. Try not to go past that. If you can't get to vertical, then it could either be flexibility issues or your foot stretchers could be too high. So when you get a chance, see what happens if you drop them by a notch. The straps should be covering the balls of your feet, not at the big bony arch of your feet. So that could be stopping you from sliding forwards enough for your shins to be in a vertical position. Then keep your chin neutral. Ugh. iPad was about to fall off the machine then. That would have been bad. Chin, so looking straight ahead, chin neutral. And then, if you manage to remember all of that, it's just a case of pushing the machine away with your feet. So you hold the forward lean and straight arms, and then push the machine away. And what that does, it just sends the power from your legs up through your body, into your arms, like a lightning conductor, uninterrupted because of that forward lean and straight arms. If you bend your arms too soon, you waste their power and you can't quite get your leg power in. And I slowed right down. I went from 203 to 212 just then. That's not good. Or if you swing your back too soon, like that, not only have you wasted like 25% of potential power as your back swings from forwards to backwards. If you have a backward lean as you press with your legs, you're sending all that power through your lower back, which can put your psoas into spasm, cause L2 problems. It's another good. So you want forward lean, straight arms, push with the legs, until your legs are about halfway through the stroke. And that is when you finally swing your body, your back from that forward lean into a equal backward lean. So you're leaning in to one o'clock on the clock face, you don't want to swing back much more than 11 o'clock 
on the clock face. Any more than that, you're risking a sore back again. Then right after you started that backswing, that's when you finally bend those arms or bend the elbows and pull in the handle. So up until your backswing, your arms have remained straight. So straight pull, right in the back, straight pull, straight pull. And that's really important too. That pull, make sure it's nice and powerful. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Elbows come through. Preferably wrists flat. And if you have to do a small flare out of the elbows to keep those wrists flat, that's fine. But what I don't recommend, unless you've been doing it for years, is the real chicken wing where your elbows come out in line with your shoulders. Because that puts all the force into your delts, biceps and forearms, which aren't really designed to take the power over and over again, the same way that your lats are, which you engage when your elbows come through. Again, like I say, you may be used to it, so it's fine. And it's the same with the handle height of the finish, where the optimum finish is sternum height in terms of efficiency and injury prevention. But you will see a lot of people, very strong people, who finish with the handle up at the throat with a weird flick in and point with the handle. Now, these people can go nice and fast doing that, but I hear a lot more about injuries from these people than I do from folks who finish with a good old sternum height. Mostly because when you finish high, you're using your inner forearms to finish which would be what, golfer's elbow? Tennis elbow, I can't remember. Golfer's. But, because of that deep layback, you're also putting so much strain on your abs and into costals that loads of people will start to suffer from stomach muscle injuries or intercostal tears or stress fractures of the ribs because of the force being like that puts into them. Again, if you are a beast of a rower, male or female, I'm equal opportunity beast here, then maybe you have the system, the strength, to hold that. But got to tell you, even on a row like today, 30 minutes, 20 strokes per minute, it's only 600 strokes. But if I were to finish in this position 600 times, well, you wouldn't see me making another row along for a few days. But then, I'm nowhere near as ripped as the guys that can handle it, so... And I'm just giving you kind of the ideal description. 
I'm not there sitting next to you. I don't know what you're doing. It'd be quite creepy if I was, though. If you suddenly saw a message come up. Oi! Posture! <laughs> Which does bring me to posture. Oh, hang on. If I press the icon with four little squares, I can have a more compact view. <sighs> hmm. Probably. I think that ship sailed when I scrolled up. <sighs> anyway. Ooh, iPad slipping again. So you finish. That was a long discussion about the finish. But the important part of the finish is that because you have pulled in nice and powerfully, your body, your arms, your muscles, your tendons want to spring back forwards again. Not a huge amount, but enough that you can almost bounce the handle off your chest. And then you can get this rhythm of in, out, where in, out. The speed you pull the handle in at is the pace that it instantly comes back out at. A nice rhythm in, out. You're not throwing the handle <laughs> away from you. Not that. Even if that is my audition for Super Mario Brothers. A nice in, out, fluid, in, out. And what that does is it triggers your forward lean, tilting back over the hips with good posture, up on your sit bones, backwards and forwards. So that when your hands are past your knees, your body has rocked forwards, your body weight is now on the front of the seat. So all you have to do is bend your knees and you will be in the perfect starting position, effortlessly sliding towards the front of the machine, ready for the next stroke. So that's what I mean about how everything is connected. So the catch starts everything, but it also by needing to get into that position, it finishes everything too. And then one of the last things to say is what to do with your leg drive. So you start it at the front of the machine, push, and you want to go for a full leg drive. Don't lock your knees at the back, but get your legs down. That way, you won't be tempted to tug on the foot straps. And even better is if, as you come to the back of the stroke, you point your toes towards the front of the machine. And that'll really stop you tugging your feet on the foot straps. And why don't you want to? Well, if you're stopping yourself by tugging on the foot straps, that's power that you could have been putting into the machine. But also, if you were to yank your feet on the straps, to pull yourself towards the front of the machine, what happens is your knees pop up. Your posture goes back and you can't get your hands past your knees to engage that hip rock. Your body weight is suddenly on the back of the seat and you have to do something weird and wonderful to get from this position to this position. 
So tugging on the foot straps, bad. And you don't need to, because one foot out, two feet out. I'll close out this row by rowing with my feet out of the straps. And by thinking about what I just said, a full leg drive, legs down, pointing my toes at the front of the machine, and then bouncing the handle away in, a, in out in order to start that hip rock. All I have to do is bend my knees to get to the front of the machine, rather than being beached at the back of the machine because I need the straps to pull me forwards. All right, I've got seven strokes to go. I think most people are coming into a close. Three, two, last one for me, one. If you are still coming to the end of your half hour, don't worry about it, keep going. I'm gonna do what I said. Four block, oh, there we go. Ah, so if you press the four square, rather than giving you everyone on the line, I now get everyone as a little tile on screen, so I could probably fit, what's that, six times four, 24 different people on the page? That's quite handy. And it was really nice. I mean, I didn't talk much about what I was seeing other people doing. Um, it was lovely seeing how other folks were getting on through that. I can see Sandy's still going. He's pretty much just past the halfway. Everybody else, Tyus, Anthony, Todd, Nicole, Stuart, Kalu, Yufa, Scarlett, John S, that would be me, uh, David J, they're all done. Sandy's still going, but I know he was waiting for I think he was, his kids just had, had a Domino's pizza. I think he was too busy drooling over it, so he was a little bit late because <laughs> he didn't eat. Right, I'm going to go into a two-minute cooldown if you are still watching the live stream. This isn't going to be a Erg Zone live thing, so either come along with me or if someone just added a heart, I'm going to do the same in case someone else is watching. Here you go. I'm going to put a whole bunch of them. Boom, 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 boom. don't know how you change the icon, though. If I click and hold, does it change what it gives me? Oh, it does. Oh, I can do fire now. That's exciting. <laughs> Sorry. Right, a two minute cool down. In three, two, one, and go. Is my thing going to start? No, I'm going to have to hit reset. Oh, someone's putting loads of fire in. Another smiley face. <laughs> Someone else has found the. Oh, come on. I'm trying to hit the menu button, but. There we go, for the just row. <laughs> Someone, someone's going mad on the icons. <laughs> Emojis everywhere! <laughs> I know this doesn't mean much to you if you are rowing along and you don't have Urgzo up, but you know what? It's things like that that... Hey, fist bump! <laughs> it's things like that that actually add a little bit of fun, a little bit of distraction. And after all, my row-along workouts, that's kind of what I try and give you. Even when I'm talking technique, I try and still say it in a relatively... Oh, whoever that was, I love you too. <laughs> uh, what was I saying? Yeah, I try and make it at least an entertaining way to talk this stuff. Yeah, fair enough, there will be points where I'm just saying one o'clock, 11 o'clock things, but I'll try and at least make it an enjoyable discussion about technique and things. Because that's the point, is that I want you to load up the roll along workout videos. And then by me kind of talking to you in as interesting, dare I say it, way as I can. <laughs> Thumbs up. Oh, oh, biceps. Sorry, I'll, start, I'll stop copying every emoji I see next. As long as the poo one doesn't come up next. Anyway, yeah, so I try and make my workout videos enjoyable so that you'll get through a session that you would maybe not otherwise have got all the way through. Whether that's just because you started it and then once you hit play on something, it's easier to get to the end than it is to just be staring at your Concept2 monitor to try and get to the end. So if I can help get you to the, through a session, 
then I've done my job. And if I can get you to row with a decent technique and stuff as well, all the better. And so all I'm saying is that with the little fun bits and nice design of Ergzone, the wee emojis that they can send, it just makes it a little bit more fun without actually, well, that's my two minutes up for the cool down, without actually removing the kind of data side of it that we all like. You don't want to layer on so much stuff cartoony that you actually kind of go, well, what am I looking at here? Am I, where's my pace? All I can see is flying hamburgers every time I chomp one down. So there's a good balance of what's going on for these emojis coming through. So uh, yeah, so that's, I mean, if this is the first time, most of the names I've seen here are people that uh, usually comment on my videos and things. So I don't really think there's that many people that are new. Um, trying to think, Kalu. I'm trying to think if I, maybe that's a different name that they're using or who knows. Well, that's the only one really there that I kind of think, oh, who's that? Everyone else I, I recognize from ErgZone, but who knows how many people could be watching this on the Facebook live stream, hey? Eh? Who knows? So next week, um, I, the, pl right, the, next, the plan for next week is to do this again, but I'm gonna change, well, three, I'm gonna change everything to be honest, do it again, but change everything apart from the duration. So it's gonna be a 30 minute row again. This time we're going to do it on Row Pro because I'm going through uh, a few options and then on the last week of it we're all going to decide what one we enjoyed the most. Um, and then uh, I'm going to do the interactive side of it through Zoom next time, okay? So look out for a link, a Zoom link that you can then add into so we can actually uh, see each other rowing if you want to or you can just be a, an icon. And the other thing is that I'm going to change the time because I know that 8 o'clock at night isn't the best for everybody. So next week, next Sunday, we're going to do it, get ready for it at 9 in the morning UK time, right? So 9 o'clock in the morning UK time, which will then hopefully allow some other time zones um, to get into here, like Grace. Uh, I know that she gets completely missed out because we're doing it at 8 o'clock at night. So hopefully some other people will be able to do it. Um, the actual race side of it, whatever, is going to be done on RoPro, but of course, because I'm going to be on Zoom, and I'll try and see if I can stream it to YouTube at the same time. It means that you can just row along live and you don't have to have RoPro. If you don't have RoPro, they do a 30-day trial, so you could always download it and see what it's like. Um, because, like I say, I'm trying to just open people's options out here. This has been a fantastic one because um, people um, may never have known about the live option on Ergs and now um, suddenly you do. I mean, this is my first time using it and I think it's amazing. I didn't expect it to be as good as it was. I thought it'd just be a couple of names and a dot, not actually as well designed as it was. So that's what I'm doing. I'm all about sharing things. I'm not tied into anybody. Obviously, I use ErgZone uh, all the time because that's the simplest way and it's, it's the, my preferred app. But it's not like they, they don't pay me. So um, uh, yeah, until, until a Russian billionaire comes along and says, uh, here you go, here's 10 million pounds. I want you to just use crew or something. Then I'll use anybody's. I, I belong to, the only person I belong to is my wife and kids. Isn't that sweet, hey? Right. Uh, Hopefully you're stretching or still rowing at this point. I usually say to stretch or, or row and I haven't. So I'm really sorry if you're like, is there gonna be any more rowing? Um, because I'm starting to get cold. So uh, no, there's not. Um, so stretch or do some light rowing to cool down on stuff. Um, and yeah, and pack up and make sure and eat and whatever, depending on where you are. I mean, it's now 20 to nine. So I'm gonna go grab something to eat and then watch the final episode of Vigil on, uh, uh, on TV, which has been quite gripping, it must be said. A submarine drama, and it's terribly gripping. Um, yeah, so uh, I'm gonna go do that, and that's the end of my night. Um, if you're new to watching my stuff, this is what they're like, you know? <laughs> I start rowing, I talk about technique a while, I sometimes get diverted, and then at the end of it, I don't know whether it's the endorphins or separation anxiety or delusions of adequacy when it comes to being a presenter on camera, who knows, but I just can't shut up. Sometimes I talk about food, sometimes like the 55 minute one at the end of that, it turned into a TED talk about motivation, um, about the importance of enjoying what you're doing and stuff. I just went on and on and on and, and then eventually went, whoa, is this a TED talk? But yeah, anyway, so that's the end of uh, this live stream because I'm sure you've all got better things to do. Um, thank you so much for taking the time to be with me on this one. I will do an edit version of this and upload it to YouTube um, 
so that you can just roll this as part of the 10K plan uh, or a standalone session whenever you want. And you'll be like, hey, what's going on here? What? Why? Why, why is he? What? Yeah. So, um, hey, listen, it's like a live TV show. We're just doing it for the fun of it. So thank you so much for joining me. Don't worry, I'm saying goodbye now. Thank you so much for joining me in these and for coming around a lot. I am going to say goodbye, uh, but then obviously I'm going to have to go and stop the feed so you'll just see the back of my head for a while. But yeah, um, I just want to, oh, quickly, before I go, oh, sorry. Um, I just want to say thank you very much to uh, all the people who are actually patrons of Rollong. Now, I don't give you the, the address and stuff because I actually I, I don't promote it um, but there is one that people um, are actually patrons of and which I think is fantastic it's there's an option but I never ever ever talk about it but I just want to say thank you to them because uh, it was the support that they've given me that allowed me to buy the wireless microphone system and this rather groovy uh, headset microphone to be able to do this in better audio, audio quality and things so thank you so much for them your money does go to this rather than just um, uh, drums and things. <laughs> so anyway, anyway, yeah. So I'm gonna say goodbye. Then I have to go over here to turn off the computer. So okay. So just the back of my head. Thank you so much. Stay safe. Be well. Bye bye. Right. I'm turning away now. Bye bye. Go. Please. Um, go. Go. Bye. <laughs>